Hello, what's up? It's your girl Crystal here with a Bible video for you. Today we're going to talk about some verses from Psalms about being afraid. So the first one we got is going to be Psalms 27, 1. So we need to go to Psalms 27. Let's see here. I got my Bible out. Mm-hmm. Okay. 27 1 says the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid and then the next one we're going to do is Psalms 27 5 which says for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble he will conceal me under the cover of his tent he will lift me high upon a rock so that's the first part of being afraid so I'm just doing some verses that might help you guys get through the day um, another one is going to be Psalms 34, 4, so let's go to Psalms 34, and number 4 would be, I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. So if you accept him in your heart and you look for him, you have no reason to be afraid. Another one I'm going to be doing is Psalms 36, 1 through 13. Which is, transgression speaks to the wicked deep in his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are trouble and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep man and beast you save, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life, in your love do we see light. O continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright of heart. Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the evildoers lie fallen, they are thrust down, unable to rise. And then another one that I am interested in telling you guys about today would be Psalms 91, 1 through 16. So let me just flip over here. Okay. And it's going to be 1 through 16. It's under my refuge and my fortress. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And that's going to be today's lesson. Uh, just a few things in case you're scared or nervous about anything at all. Um, I can do more upon requests. Um, the ones that I can do for you is, if you're still afraid, I can do more. 
of the scriptures for being scared. Um, I can also do uh, stuff for you, like if you're angry, anxious, worried, bereaved, bitter, resentful, depressed, discouraged, disappointed, distraught, upset, doubting, far from God, jealous, envy, lonely, sad, sick, tempted, troubled by wrong thoughts. Um, I can do ones for acceptance. The church, courage, death, demons, drinking and drugs, faith, financial difficulties, forgiveness, friendship, giving, God's love, grace, guidance, healing, heaven, hell, hope, joy, judgment, love, and money. I can do stuff about the occult, patience, peace, persecution and suffering, pleasure, praise, prayer, pride, worship, strength, spiritual power, sin, sexual perversion, Satan, devil, and salvation. So if you guys want me to do any of those for you, all you got to do is you can shoot me an email. Or comment below. I can do uh, question and answer videos if you would like me to. Stuff like that. So it's all up to you. Again, this one was just Psalms for Afraid. Um, just a few things that might help you get through the day. And stuff like that. I, I know everybody's out there struggling. They're all scared financially about stuff or worried. And so I was hoping this would help you guys out today. It was nice to talk to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and stuff like that. Keep the Lord in your prayers, you know. Keep him close to your heart and everything should work out in your favor. Love y'all. Bye.